GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. Good morning, Guam, and thanks for starting your day the KUAM way. Uh, group chat here. Uh, you know, I know Jay and the digital team are going to head down to Charter Day in a little bit, but... Uh, you know, we wanted to get uh, my friend Art and uh, the lovely ladies, Erica and Miss Charlene from the uh, Division of uh, Senior Citizens, uh, Department of Public Health and uh, Social Services. Now, Senior Citizens a Month is in May, but mm -hmm. um, we wanted to get out ahead of the curve and talk about some of the great um, uh, awards and seniors that you guys are going to be recognizing in May. And, and that, all that work kind of starts here in March. Oh, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Uh, what do you got going on for uh, Senior Citizens Month 2020? Okay, well, thank you, Chris, and thank you for having us. So with regards to Senior, Citizen Month 20, Senior Citizens Month 2020, we have a host of events. Uh, we start off with our proclamation, which is scheduled for April 30th at 2 p.m. at the Large Cabinet Conference Room in Adelou. And so that's our first event to kick off the celebration. The month is there months. a color for this month? A color, as in you know, sometimes red, it, green, or yeah. Red. Actually, the the national logo is what we're using. Silver, we say, silver fox. Um, man. actually, not silver. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we'll, we'll definitely submit that on your behalf. Right, you right, like. right, right. <laughs> so it's actually the green, purple, and blue. Oh, and so, nice. the, so this logo has been used for several years now, and all they do is actually is just change the theme year right. after year. Yeah, we could get that up, Jay, and see that. I'm so that was our logo, logo for 2019. Right. So this year, the theme is Make Your Mark. And so we're updating that logo as well. And instead of last year's theme, of course, that's a 2019 right, right. program. We'll have a 2020 logo, same icon. Just what does that logo people. mean, Art? Because it's an interesting logo. Well, really, it just represents the inclusion of the elder and the family in our community. And so it really promotes the uh, integration of our seniors to maintain their role in our community. Amen. And we definitely need uh, more than that. A lot of times, you know, with um, younger generations uh, taking the wheel, it really seems like we need the Mononco to get back in the driver's seat, like in so many ways, you know. Well, well that, that's good to know because uh, many of us as we age, it's good to know that we still maintain our value and our worth in our community. And we definitely are always prepared to assist the younger generation. Right. And, and then you know, we can look for them for wisdom as well. I want to ask, uh, do you do we face similar uh, problems that, let's say, the continental United States um, faces? Because it, it seems, I mean, at least on my part, on my end, anecdotally maybe, mm -hmm. that we're just closer with our Mononquan. and they still maintain like a, an important part in our households. Oh, absolutely, yes. Locally, we are very unique, and that is uh, embedded in our culture. There's a lot of strength with regards to the role of our seniors. But many of the issues that we're wondering about our counterparts in the continental U.S. are very similar. Exploitation of our seniors is an issue here on island as it is on the national level. At the same time, home and community-based services that are offered in the nation is also offered here. And you're talking about meal delivery. Meal delivery. And I wanted to touch on that really quick, if I may, because when we go to national conferences and we share that our meals are delivered on a daily basis, warm delivered, home delivered, for 355 service days in every any calendar fiscal year, they're very impressive. And one of our strengths is, is believe it or not, is our geographic size. They just can't do that as a, in the U.S. So right, right. The, de the delivery time is so much longer, so they'll actually deliver frozen food to our to those homebound seniors. Wow. And so that is one of the strengths of our local program, being the size that we are geographically, we're able to serve over 1,000 seniors a warm delivered, home delivered. That's meal. great because a lot of times people talk about our size as uh, you know, a detriment, but it, yeah. here it's actually a positive. For this program, absolutely, it is definitely a Size positive. does matter, smaller is better when it comes to servicing um, seniors. <laughs> so yes, it does. And so one of the other events that um, we're, we have for the month-long celebration is we are reaching out to the community. We have the centenarian, and right now, uh, as last I was advised, we have potentially eight. Yes. And wow. these are seniors who will be 100 years of age or older this calendar year. And so our event is already scheduled for May 21st. 21st. Thank you, Erica. And so Erica is actually our chairperson for that. If I have Erica, Erica talk about please, that. Erica, please, don't let Art do all the talking. <laughs> he does this every time. 
<laughs> brings people and then you guys are just sitting there so <laughs> so like he mentioned yes uh, so it is for May 21st and our event runs from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. and our the venue for this year would be at the Deuce it right the Deuce Tani and uh, so prior year we had seven but since then uh, four had passed so we have three returning and actually the oldest one is a hundred will be a hundred and four this year Wow yes and so we do have um, for more uh, new uh, centenarians this so year. So that's like about 800 years of experience collectively. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yes. Sorry. And why, why do you, I mean, you know, this might be a general question, but why do you feel it's important to honor um, these centenarians? And, and not just to honor them, but I mean, I'm sure in talking with them, man, the stories they can tell. Well, absolutely, Chris, yes. This is a celebration of life. It's a life it's of longevity. It's a testament to good health practices that our seniors have had, good eating habits. And so we're working with the University of Guam student. We're looking at the possibility of him working with all the centenarians and their families to identify what are the common variables that are among the centenarians. So now remember, they're not all necessarily from Guam. They've made Guam their home. Right. And so he wants to look at what are the similarities. Of, and when we look at it, really just quick overview, we're looking at diet, exercise, a good family life, good connection, a great connection with spiritual uh, richness of their, of their house, good family values, strong family values and ties. And so uh, he and I are talking about the possibility if he could document this year, not like any other year, an official review and assessment of what are the key variables that have that they have in common right. in terms of their longevity. And that's for centenarian. And that's, and that's really cool. There's always that one, the one or two centenarians, they like break all the rules, they smoke cigarettes, they <laughs> alcohol, and they're like, what's your secret? I don't care anymore. <laughs> you know, so I'm, gonna, I'm interested about that study. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's, I, yeah, it's, I don't know how intense or how in-depth it's going to be. We're just starting to talk about it, so I'm hoping that that's cool. uh, he's able to actually do that this year. So we're, we're looking at that as a possibility. Uh, but if we can also talk about another new event we're having this year, and that's yes. the Outstanding Senior Citizen. We've approached the Mayor's Council. We've uh, asked for their help. Each Mayor's Office is asked to submit a person from their village who will be honored this year as the Outstanding Senior Citizen of that village. Tough job. Tough job. Yes, it is a tough, tough job. Tough job for those mayors in an election year. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Probably perfect timing then. Ooh, um, but to select just one, how do you do that? To select one, exactly right. So. What we shared with the mayors is that we didn't set up a prerequisite or requirements that say they have to have written a grant, they would have had to done X, Y, and Z. What we did say is, we're asking for you to look for a person in your village who has improved the quality of life of the residents of your village, who has maybe has done something for the caregivers or even the elders themselves, who is an elder, who has really helped that community move forward hmm. to support the elders in the community. The only other criteria that we put forth was the, the idea that the resident would be at least have a residency in that village for at least five years. And what is the age? What is a senior citizen nowadays? Well, Shirley, you want to take sure, that one? Go ahead. Um, locally, Guam law recognizes a senior as 55 years and older because we receive federal dollars right. or programs. Um, uh, the seniors would have to be 60 years of age and older. So we're looking for one um, outstanding Monoko from each village, and they have to be 60 or older. Right. Correct. Okay. And so as part of this celebration, we will recognize them at the 46th Annual Governors Conference on Aging. Right. And so that is in the works, and we're looking at having that celebration also in May. And the date for that right now is set for May 29th. Okay. Let's May 27th. Um, May 27th. A little bit, Art. So back again to these, uh, let's say people are watching this. Sure. Um, I know the mayors might have their idea about who they want to pick, but is there any way that uh, you know, residents of the villages can go see their mayor and say, hey, you know, Tanana did this, or, you know, Tun Pete. Absolutely. I would encourage the village residents to have a conversation with their mayors and, and nominate individuals, say, I'm not sure if you've selected someone, but this is someone who's actually helped us in many ways in our community, is a very silent person in our community, but has done significant, made significant contributions to improve the quality of life with just all the residents. The I seniors. think that's cool because now I'm thinking about different villages I've lived in over the years and like who would 
be a nominee for that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So. So okay, um, people are asking in the chat, and they're saying, so these are actual villages, not voting districts, right? So like Momu Totomaiti. Would have one. Would have, okay, so yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. I said, good like luck with that, that mayor. <laughs> right, right. Good luck with so that, mayor. Right. Right. Yes. And that was, a, that was a question raised during our initial pre our right, presentation right. with the mayors, because um, I think it was Mayor Louise from Tumwini. She said, so do I get three? And we're like, Our actually, to right, to right. Mm -hmm. And we said, actually, you'll get one. It's pure for each mayor's office. Per mayor's office. Ah, right? okay. And so we clarified that because so maybe the mayors can come up with their own like honorable mention or whatever. absolutely yeah. nothing. Nothing stops the mayors from doing that. And so new so mayors. So so we're looking for that through the help of the mayor's office. Mm. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. And you know, I, I think talking about this problem they might have with nominating just one just goes to show how many outstanding Monomco we have on the side. Absolutely. We're very, very fortunate. I don't know if, you know, the younger people value this, but man, my grandparents, they passed away long, long ago, and there's not, a, literally not a day goes by when I don't wish that they were here for, you know, me to just talk to or bounce things off of or say, how did you do this? Or what would you do in this situation? So, very important. I mean, you know, I say this with Mess Tomorrow, every month should be Mess Tomorrow, but the same thing with uh, Senior Citizens Month, I mean, Monoko need to uh, maintain and in some cases uh, retake the role um, and roles that they've had in our lives. Anyway, Chris Barnett for Senator. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not running. I'm not running. Fair enough. Okay, so what else we got? As of today. Right. As of today, you're right. So the other event we have, kind of moved around the calendar, but going back, we started with April 30th with a proclamation. Our next event is actually on May 7th, and that's our Wigan Monoko. That's our senior Goodwill Games. Right. This is where the centers. Uh, come together at the University of Juan Cabo Fieldhouse, and we have a partner there, the UOG Endowment Fund, so we'll be using that facility for this event. And our seniors will have a parade of banners, which is a competitive parade of banners, and then they'll have different competitive sports like over and under, uh, egg toss, ring Bingo! Uh, <laughs> not that day. Not that day. Okay, I'm just checking. Yeah, yeah. The want to know. <laughs> just not, th not that day. Not no. that day. Yeah, it's well, coming. There'll be, there'll be prizes, and right, then, of course, right, the overall yeah. winner for all the different sports. you got to have a be. dance thing. I mean, you know, it's crazy how you can see, uh, you know, your auntie, your uncle, the fiesta, they're like, got the cane, they're hobbling around, but the minute that cha-cha mix comes on, it's like, whoa, they're healed, you know what I mean? Cane yeah, yeah, thrown yeah, away. Yeah. And, they, they, they do. That is yeah. so true, Chris. That is so true. And it brings a lot of pleasure to them. So, yes, there is dancing that day. We will have music throughout the day, and that would be an option for them as well. Awesome. You got yeah. a comment, Chris? Oh. This one's specifically for art, because he was talking about services for seniors. Chris oh, will bring sure. that up. But okay. Please, yeah. Go on. Keep oh, okay. So, uh, after the 7th, we had the 21st, which Erica touched on with the centenarian mm -hmm. celebration. And then on the 27th of May, we have the... 46th Annual Governor's Conference on Aging, and again, as I know, we noted earlier, we will be also honoring our outstanding senior citizens. This is the first time we're doing this, so we're very much excited about this new that, event. That is really cool. We're really excited to get the word out. And then on May 29th, right now, we're looking at the 35th Guam Legislature, having the reception for our senior citizens who go to the Senior Citizen Centers. And that'll wrap up the month-long celebration. Uh, we had a lady here. Art, where can my aunt apply for senior transport? Oh, we well, do have a transportation program that you can call directly to the program, or you can actually call our case management services program, which is the entry point for services. But you can also call the Division of Senior Citizens, and through contacting our office, we can assist you to be referred over to case management and transportation services. And transportation services really to your uh, to the person may just be the beginning. We like to offer case management so they can do a in-person meeting and do an assessment. There right. may be other services that may be available for your, I think you said your aunt? Yeah. Yeah, and so that would be something that we can explore through case management. Our contact number, the Division of Senior Citizens, if I may, is 735-7415 or 7421. So please call our office and we will assist you in making the referral for your aunt to access transportation services okay and just while i have your attention please um, there's a lot of people in the comment stream right now who are actually trying to make nominations, nominations. in this so, <laughs> oh, yeah. so maybe we can say is there, is there a form is there call a website call your mayor call your mayor yeah, yeah. is there a website yeah. where people yes. can go or did they just contact them <laughs> just they should just contact their respective okay. village mayors right. we've got at least eight nominees right, right. here so yeah, yeah. Now, the, the other option you can do and uh, this is on the spot uh, you can send an email to Erica, and she will give you her email address, and then we will make sure that Erica forwards it over to the respective mayors as well. So, get 
Thank you, Erica. Erica dot Tyron at uh, DPHSS uh, dot Guam dot gov. Uh, it's Erica with the C. 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 Yes. Right. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and again, I think just by the outpouring of nominations on our Facebook comments, which again is not an official way to nominate someone. <laughs> um, it's going to be really fun to get all these uh, nominees and the uh, honors. So, what what else can um, we talk about here in Senior Citizen Month? Have we have we touched on everything? Um, I believe we have actually. Is there anything, Charlie, that you'd like to contribute? Um, I know that the Centenarium forms because the deadline is this Friday. Right. Is available at the public health website. Under What's the, the cutoff? When do you have to turn a hundred by? Oh. As long as you're 100 within this within, year. Within yeah, this calendar, calendar year. Yes. All right. That's okay. a good question right on. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you're 99, but you don't turn 100 until, you know, let's say you're like a New Year's baby, you still can qualify, right? Like yeah. in December 31st. December 31st. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. 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 And so we have about eight. Do we have any men this year? Yes, we have actually a seven female and one male. It's usually yeah. mostly women. Yes, it is. Right. Yes. What, is the, what is the longest living... Centenarian Guam. or otherwise, like you've ever seen on Guam. Uh, last year, we honored uh, one of our, our honorees was uh, 103. So wow. we're hoping that um, all of them will be blessed with long life. We're hoping that uh, in the years to come, we'll hit one senior on Guam was 110, and that'll be Guam's first super centenarian. Wow. Yeah. So we're hoping. Well, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that all of them reach that. And we'd be, well, I may not be here because that's like so many years from now, but maybe someone else would be in your studio talking about who the super centenarian is. Okay, wow. and one bit of feedback for all of you. Let me pop up here. Uh, thank you, Arden ladies. You have always been the best. Oh, oh that's okay. Thank you so much. There you go. Well, Arden, I just want to also thank you because I know you're um, very involved with the coronavirus uh, response <laughs> and all that stuff. So I know that it took a lot to get you here this morning. Yes, we, and we, so thank you for. Then, well, thank you very much, Chris. Yeah. So thank you for having us. Thank right. you so much. Of course. So again, uh, Arson Augustine, um, Erica, and Charlene, Miss Charlene. Yeah. Yes. Jason called you Shirley, I think, right? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley. <laughs> Shirley. I, think, I think he knows a Shirley. I got the graphic right. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks again, and uh, you know, keep a heads up. We'll be getting the word out as uh, we get closer. Yes. And again, for the to nominate the senior of um, the month for your respective village, get a hold of your village mayor. And uh, work that out with them. Okay, so again, ladies and Art, thank you so much. Hey, this has been a group chat. My name is Chris Estadio. <laughs> Adios. Adios. Thank you.